hi and welcome to the channel this is not a sponsored video at all i'm just a guy trying to play this game properly on pc so if you want to play dragon Age on pc you can use the pc client or you can use this process i'm telling you about let me show you one big reason why you will want to use an emulator over the pc client or even your mobile device sometimes if you go to settings right here and you go to graphics you can see in the emulator you have high frame rates this isn't available in the pc client but you can choose the highest graphic and you can choose the highest frame rate over here so it is very very cool and it just makes your game look so much better so if you want crisp graphics then emulator is your go-to one it is even better than the pc client in my opinion the main reason is because of controls because the pc client's controls kind of suck <laughs> anyway so you want to download nox emulator i have a video about ld player 9 emulator but it's not really playing dragon Rancher properly again so i'll have a link in the description of this video so that will lead you to downloading this emulator where you can get it for yourself and i'm going to explain in this video how you can get everything set up so the game doesn't keep crashing in the emulator and stuff so first things first, you want to download and install the emulator, then you have these two icons on your desktop. So what you want to open is not the normal Nox player, but the Nox Assist here. Yes. So I'm going to open that. And right here, you will have just the Nox player Android 7 in your own uh, emulator in, or your own int. What? In your own interface so once you have this you do not bother about open this nox player 7 you just go down here to multi drive manager click on that and here you will go to add emulator so you click on add emulator and then the options you have are on the android 7 official you have the android 9 and you have the android 12. i am using android 12 but i think you can use the android 9 and the android 12. so over here you pick android 12 open the emulator log into your play store in the emulator and just do the needful download the game and stuff i've already downloaded it here so i'm just going to open the game and then i'll show you the settings you want to have so right here we have dragon raja on nox player emulator so you will go to the cog wheel over here the settings icon click on that depending on your computer the settings will vary for you just try and mess around and figure out the settings that suits you best so the first thing is this resolution would be over here so you want to put it at 1920 by 1080 for the resolution and then you want to also come over here and make it be enhanced compatibility mode the OpenGL plus works for me you can try direct x but i found this to be a lot more laggy for me so i just use the OpenGL for now now in the resolution setting you can select which one you want between a tablet a mobile phone a wide screen just mess around with this section but this is what works for me now we go to gaming in the gaming section i'm, I'm leaving it at the 30 fps i noticed that the game crashed a lot with the higher frame rate and finally in device over here you will want to select the samsung galaxy s20 you could also choose custom and just select your own build but for me the samsung galaxy s20 for now works pretty okay so that's what i'm using and that's basically everything for the settings right here and now we can actually turn up dragon raja put it in full screen and we can log into the game and there's something that makes this game different or before i even log into the game because it might happen now and you'll notice that my avatar has disappeared from wherever it is down here if it happens so one thing is i'm going to remove this music you can hear it's a little stuttering already if you do have apps open in the background of the emulator like i do have these tax manager open here i have obs open over here it's also i have the vtube avatar you can see it's taking a lot of the cpu memories uh, of the computer as well this will make or can make the emulator crash so it's best to just run only the emulator if you are running the emulator do not open things in the background so it doesn't crash i also have a link in the description of this video that will take you to a site where you can see other ways you can stop the emulator from crashing if it's crashing that might help you open even just log into the emulator sometimes you need to turn on your visual machines and all those things so that links explain that link explains everything you can just use it if you're running into any issues so let's go back and hopefully we do not crash right here so i'm actually going to go into the game let's put it in full screen mode i'm going to teach you next now how to fix the controls of the emulator how to fix the game's control so you can play dragon raja properly and not suffer with the pc client or the way it, you know you suffer in the pc client so now we're in dragon raja and you can see the graphics is amazing on the pc client you didn't have the dash there was no option to dash i had to literally come here and click dash but over here you can dash with just the shift key i can dash if i want to look at my mouse over here i'm not clicking there and i can dash 
so i'm going to show you how to set everything right now if you want to so what you want to do is come over here to this section where my mouse is right here and click on the keyboard and it's going to bring out this keyboard mapping so you can choose between not using a keyboard or using a gamepad yes you can use a gamepad to play dragon raja with the emulator so depending on whatever you want i am currently using a keyboard so you can always just switch to the game gamepad but i don't have a gamepad equipped but if i do one sec I, I have to show this so it doesn't seem like i'm lying a few moments later there we go i have got my keyboard equipped Check it out. Now it shows configure your control mapping in keyboard settings. So I can now switch to key controller. Before I couldn't switch to it. So I can choose controller now or I can choose the keyboard. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use keyboard. I've removed my controller. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use the keyboard or fix the keyboard. If you want one for the controller, just let me know in the comment section and I will do just that. So what you want to do first for a keyboard is you want to grab this D-pad. This is what is going to be over here. So I'm going to remove everything here and I'll go for a new one. Discard changes? Yes, I will discard changes. So we'll grab the D-pad and drag it all the way. You see an Android stuff down here. It's kind of like an analog stuff. Just drop it right properly on there. So that will be, if we save it, always click save. We save it, that will be our control. You see WASD. So that's going to help us move properly. Then next you want to go back there again and you want to grab something for the camera right so what we're going to grab for the camera will be the shooting mode so we're going to grab that click on that can i grab you there we go and drop it just somewhere in the middle right here there we go don't bother about fixing the x or y axis just leave it at that so now we have the shooting mode all you have to do to enter the shooting mode is press the default button which has not been set properly the default button is already arranged there you can see it right here this is the default button it's like this sign on the keyboard so you're going to click on it and i'm going to set it as right click so i just made right click on my mouse and now the default button is the right click on the mouse so normally we have to be left clicking and holding to turn but now if we just right click we've entered the shooting mode and we can turn the camera properly we don't have to you know left click and stuff so that's pretty cool now let's go back to the controls right there and we will go for default attack so since we have the shooting mode we can use fire for the default attack left click to shoot so we're gonna tap on that and drag it right here and save so now when we right when we left click normally it will not um, activate but when we right click first our mouse has disappeared now we left click we have our default Attack. that's the shooting mode now let's keep going we're gonna go over to the actual mappings we need to map all the entire SKU so just left click on any of the SKU section and put anything you want like number one click here number two click here number three click here number four and click wherever that one was and make it number five and save it right that so now when you right click your mouse disappears you can now control camera <clears throat> we can also move properly then you left click it brings up the normal attacks then you have your one you have your two you have your three four and five just like that so you have all of that already mapped out so now we're going to go back there again and map out our other skills so i'm going to make this q i'm going to make this e make sure you put it properly i'll make this z and i'll make this x and we save it right there as well so now we have everything again right click so we have everything equipped this is our e this is our Q skill. So everything is arranged properly right now. So now all that's left is for this and maybe for the controls. So let's just mark that right here. I'll make this uh, caps lock, put it right here. I'll make this uh, maybe control L. Yeah, I'll make it a control. And then we also need to put our shift for dash. So click here, put a shift and then we need to put our jump there we go so perfect so now we can dash properly with our number three number two brings us down all of this without you know going to click there without going to click here so we can do all of that very easily now we need something to change this and to put on auto so i think that's the last those are the last things we need so i'm gonna grab something to change we'll put this i think i'll put tab to change right here to switch between targets and then for auto i think i will actually change auto to be caps lock right why well, could just put f for auto 
you know what i'll put caps lock as auto then i will remove this one over here the caps lock over here and i'll probably just make it alt and then i'll put a big f here for maybe when we get frozen or something there it is so and that is the controls for dragon raja that's everything you need to know about this nox player emulator uh, there probably will be some more things if you again if you want me to do the other video for controller setup to get the optimal controls for controller and just let me know as well in the comment section and that's everything i want to share i wanted to share with you guys in this video i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content and yeah hope you enjoyed this go have fun playing your dragon raja on pc now <laughs> take it easy guys and um bye bye